Unlike other leagues, such as the NBA or NFL, the NHL doesn't see quite as many scandals come about. Even still, despite being known for its class, the NHL has seen its fair share of players that lack an adequate moral compass. Therefore, in result of their actions off ice, these few players in turn were forced to look for work elsewhere. As most of us know, the Continental Hockey League, otherwise known as the KHL, has seemingly been much more forgiving towards players who have slipped up and made mistakes that the NHL deemed unforgivable. In this video, we're going to go over three players who were forced to take their talents overseas to Russia after committing some atrocities. And with that, here are three NHL players who were cancelled to the KHL. Social media sometimes can be a blessing for some and others a curse, as in it provides an outlet for individuals who are careless with their words and intent to chastise other humans unfairly. And for forward Brandon, that was clearly the case. But unfortunately for him, being a professional hockey player and all, trash talking women point blank had severe consequences. After being drafted in the third round in 2012 by the Nashville Predators, he had decided to prove his worth by going on to record 120 points with the Portland Winterhawks of the WHL. Following a decent amount of time spent playing for various NHL minor affiliate teams, he had then found himself being an NHL journeyman. After playing for four NHL teams, the forward then signed a one-year deal with the Washington Capitals. Unknowingly, however, he had wouldn't be finishing out his contract. In May of 2020, he was placed on unconditional waivers following some less than savory comments coming to light that he had made about a couple of NHL players' wives and also his line mates. As during a conversation that he thought was completely private with former NHLer Jack Rodewald and several other hockey players from various leagues, he had went on to call Nick Dowd and Garnet Hathaway losers and also voiced some derogatory comments about Connor McDavid's girlfriend Lauren Kyle and Tanner Pearson's wife Megan Loveday. Look how fat Pearson's wife is. And he also indicated that Kyle had, quote, greasy beat up legs, end quote. Well, as you can imagine, the league didn't take this behavior lightly and issued a statement while saying, the National Hockey League strongly condemns the misogynistic and reprehensible remarks made by players in a private group chat that has surfaced on social media. There is no place in our league for such statements, attitudes, and behavior, no matter the forum. Despite his apology after he admitted his comments were offensive and unacceptable, the league and the Capitals weren't so quick to forgive and his contract was terminated thereafter. But he had quickly learned of a league that would accept him and his services despite his past transgressions. Roughly three months after being released from the NHL, he had then signed with and is set to return for his final contract year with for the 2021-22 season. Well, for Slava Voinov, his career that began in Russia will most likely be concluding there. After being selected by the LA Kings 32nd overall in 2008, Voinov spent a considerable amount of time perfecting his craft while playing for the LA Kings AHL affiliate at the time, the Manchester Monarchs. And after securing an NHL debut in October of 2011, Voinov would go on along with his teammates to win the Stanley Cup to top off his rookie season. And in 2013, Voinov then went on to further impress by setting a franchise record for the most goals scored by a defenseman in a single postseason, with six in total. But it wasn't long after Voinov had signed a fresh six-year deal valued at $25 million that some events from his past would soon come back to haunt him in dramatic fashion. At the start of the 2014-15 campaign, Voinov was suspended indefinitely by the Kings as a criminal investigation was being conducted with the defenseman being the accused. As his wife, Marta Varlamova, had come forward alleging that she had been the victim of domestic violence at the hands of Voinov for quite some time. Following alcohol consumption, Varlamova went on to say that her husband became aggressive every time. Even though she refused to testify against her husband, the court still convicted Voinov on a reduced misdemeanor charge and sentenced him to 90 days in jail, counseling, and three years probation. After receiving a lengthy suspension, which officially ran until the end of the 2020 playoffs, Voinov returned to his home country and began playing for SK St. Petersburg, where he remained until 2018. Voinov is set to play for the this upcoming season. Drafted 6th overall by Vancouver in 2014, Jake Vertanen entered the league with much potential. With a power forward-like mentality, Vertanen was known as a high-energy physical player who was able to play a 200-foot game. But after remaining in the Canucks organization for roughly five years, a sinister story was then unearthed involving events from years prior that would drastically affect his NHL career. As the Canucks season was coming to a close, was coming to a close, reports of a lawsuit being filed against Vertanen began to surface. The 
woman, who didn't want to be identified, alleged that Vertanen took her to a hotel in West Vancouver in September of 2017, and then proceeded to force himself onto her in a sexual-like nature, despite her pleas for him to relent. The statement, taken from the woman, indicated that she had suffered physical, emotional, and psychological damages due to Vertanen's actions. Following the allegations, the Canucks organization took action by placing the forward on leave, while saying the team, quote, does not accept sexual misconduct of any kind, and the claims, as reported, are being treated very seriously. Despite Vertanen denying the allegations while saying that everything was consensual between him and the unknown female, this hasn't helped his case of remaining in the NHL. As the Canucks, this past July, announced that they would be buying out the remaining portion of Vertanen's contract. Therefore, as many controversial characters do, Vertanen has taken his talents elsewhere, to the KHL, after signing a one-year deal with 